Getting help to kick a substance use addiction just got a lot harder for people in the Portland area. Good evening, everybody. I'm Cindy Williams. And I'm Pat Callahan. One of three not-for-profit detox programs in Maine has closed because of staffing issues. The Milestone Recovery Center in Portland says it does plan to reopen, but that could take weeks or longer. New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen joins us now to look at the impact and what needs to happen in order for Milestone to reopen. Hannah? Old Pat Milestone Recovery was running Southern Maine's only nonprofit medical detoxification center. The other facilities are in Lewiston and Bangor. Medical detox is an essential first step in addiction recovery since serious withdrawal, particularly from alcohol, can be life threatening. Now with this center's temporary closure, it leaves a gap in an area where there's a critical need. What's going to happen to people that are seeking support here is, is uh, something that is currently keeping me up at night. Staff at Milestone Recovery frustrated over the need to temporarily close. They can't rely on the team that we have. It's too small to sustain the workload that we're putting on them. Executive Director Oliver Burdine says Milestone is down four nurses, half of what's needed to safely run the 24-hour detox center. Losing Milestone is definitely a gut gut punch to our efforts to help people find the right care that they need. Bill Burns is the Portland Police Department's substance use disorder liaison. For many folks, detox is an important first step and in order to do it safely, you need places like Milestone. He says the department has been working with centers like Milestone to tackle the root of the state's drug epidemic. And what Portland learned years ago was that you can not arrest your way out of uh, the problem of, of, of addiction. Now their efforts to find people without resources help are strained. People are, are asking to come here and, and often really trying to beg us to let them in because they're looking to change their lives and, and it's a really a life or death situation for many people. A shortage of nurses is not unique to Milestone. According to the American Nursing Association, by 2022, there are predicted to be more vacant positions in nursing nationwide than in any other field. And nonprofits like Milestone are being hit especially hard. We can't compete with big hospitals on, on dollar per hour amounts. But what they can offer is meaningful work. The nurses are here because they want to do this work and they want to support the people that are coming through our doors. They love the work that they're doing and they know they're making a difference. Burdine says if you're not trained in this specific kind of nursing, not a problem, they do offer training. If you're interested in applying for one of these nursing positions, head over to milestone-recovery.org. The job postings are listed there. The center won't reopen until the positions are filled, so it is unclear when that will happen. Pat? All right, thank you, Hannah.